Hi friends, I'm Biolin. Welcome to MyTechBits.com, a collection of my technical bits and pieces of information, online tools, calculators, and converters. You are now watching MyTechBit.com's video session. In this session, we will see about the various editions of SQL Server, and finally, I will show you how to get the free developer edition with all the enterprise edition features. I will start with the different editions of SQL Server 2014 and the major differences between them. Every version of SQL Server comes with five or more different editions. The features of these editions differ considerably as well as the price tag. For example, SQL Server 2014 has six editions, the Enterprise Edition, the Business Intelligence, the Standard Edition, the Web Edition, the Developer Edition, and the Express Edition. Let's see the features of these editions in detail. The Enterprise Edition is a full featured edition. The other edition will have some kind of limitations in this feature. The Enterprise Edition has no limitation of processor crores. It can use all the processor the server has. There is no limitation of memory utilization per instance either. The maximum database size is 524 petabytes. That's huge. It has the advanced data integration technique like the fuzzy grouping and lookup, chain data capture, etc. The advanced security features available in the Enterprise Edition are SQL Server Audit, Transparent Data, Encryption, and more. It also has the advanced high availability system like the always on, multiple active secondaries, multi site, and geo clustering. In memory OLTP, the Microsoft's newest in memory optimization technique for SQL Server is available only in the Enterprise Edition of SQL Server 2014. Now let's see the features and the limitations in the Business Intelligence Edition of SQL Server. The Business Intelligence Edition can use up to 16 processor cores. As you can see, this is much lesser than the Enterprise Edition, which has no limit. An instance can utilize the server's memory up to 128 GB. Just like the Enterprise Edition, a database can grow up to 524 petabytes. One of the highlights of the Business Intelligence Edition, which is also available in the Enterprise Edition, is the Self-Service Business Intelligence. The Self-Service Business Intelligence option includes alerting, power view, power pivot for SharePoint server, etc. This edition also includes advanced corporate business intelligence like the tabular BI semantic model, advanced analytic and reporting, in-memory analytics engine, and the advanced data mining. Another major feature available here is the enterprise data management, like the data quality service and the master data services. Unlike the enterprise edition, business intelligence edition does not have the features like advanced data integrity, advanced security, advanced high availability, and in-memory OLTP. Just like the Business Intelligence Edition, the Standard Edition also supports up to 16 processor cores. The maximum memory use is limited to 128 GB. The database can grow up to 524 GB. The Standard Edition only has a basic version of the Business Intelligence module. It doesn't have the full features available in the Business Intelligence Edition. Standard Edition does not have the features like advanced features available in the Enterprise Edition as well. Web Edition is the cost-effective edition of the SQL Server database, especially for the website hosting. Just like the other editions, it supports up to 16 processor core, and each instance can use the memory of the server up to 64 GB. The database can grow up to 524 petabyte. Just like the standard edition, the Web Edition does not have the Business Intelligence module or the advanced features available in the Enterprise Edition. It also does not have the buffer pool extension or the analysis services. The web edition is not available to be purchased by the public. It is available only for the web hosting providers. The express edition is the free and lightweight edition of SQL Server with lots of limitations. This is the entry level database edition. It supports only up to four processor cores or one socket. The memory use is limited to one GB per instance. The maximum size of the database can be only 10 GB. There is no SQL agent for automatic backups. 
It is helpful only for small application which uses less data. Finally, we will see about the developer edition. The developer edition is a full feature edition which has the same features as in the enterprise edition, but it's limited by license to be used for development, testing, and demonstration purpose only. The developer edition cannot be used for production environment. Initially, the developer edition has a small price tag of around $40 to $50 per developer license. But on March 31st, 2016, Microsoft announced that it can be downloaded for free. The free developer edition is available through the Visual Studio Dev Essentials program. Now you will see how to get the developer edition. To download the free developer edition of SQL Server 2014, you have to join the Visual Studio Dev Essentials program. This is a free to join program which will have a collection of useful tools for developers. To join the program, go to the URL specified in the video. The URL is also available below the video in the description section. Or you can just click the link in the video to go to my article having the URL. In the Visual Studio Dev Essentials homepage, if you are new to the program, then click the Join Now button. If you have already joined the program, then click the Access Your Benefits link. You may need a Microsoft account like the Hotmail or the Outlook.com account to join. It will also ask for some basic demographic details and other details about you. On logging in with the Microsoft account and filling the required details, it will lead you to a benefits dashboard. The dashboard will have several useful free or discounted development tools. One among them will be the Microsoft SQL Server Developer Edition. Now click the download link. In the download screen, select the bit type and language and then click the download arrow to download the SQL Server 2014 Developer Edition with Service Pack 1. With this, I am concluding this session. To summarize, I have walked you through the various editions of SQL Server like the Enterprise, Business Intelligence, Standard, Verb, Express, and the Developer Edition. We have also gone through the major differences between these editions. In the next section, I will go over the installation steps of the Developer Edition. If you like this video session, do subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Also join us in social networks like Facebook and Google+. For more technical articles, online tools, calculators, and converters, check out my website mytechbits.com. M-Y-T-E-C-B-I-T-S.com. See you again with some more interesting technical sessions. Until then, bye-bye.